just trying to hide. All these years, I kept trying to shield my mind behind some stand of trees, trying to ignore and hide the blinding confusion raining on the other side. There was a vision that I followed, stumbling upon the rocks as I traveled. And everywhere I went, people quickly showed me just how wrong I was. But I was so sure I could make a life in the quiet, way back off in the shade. I tried hard not to annoy, notice the thoughtless waste and wanton destruction. I thought I could escape their dust and shouting and live the way that I chose. There should be a calm place that I could find Email. where they would not want to go. I trusted in myself and despite all of our history and the common sense of man, but the sounds of that brutal folly echoed unimpeded through the trees. As I lay awake and listened closely to the stream and to the birds, all the sounds of their mindless brain just keep running through my brain. At last, through unending repetition, like waves upon an open point, the force of their unconscious wisdom crushes my dreams to tiny grains. And whenever things seem to go a bit too smoothly, I do not dream too long. They awaken me with their cruel and apathetic symphony of destruction. I hunker down somewhere quiet, that is, good enough because it is alone. But quickly comes another Buddha tossing empty beer cans instead of flowers. I always believed there was a place that valued wisdom over greed. Finally, I realized that our truth comes wrapped up like fish in advertising papers. I remember that I thought I might have glimpsed something long ago. Now it's just a tattered recollection of a lost memory that has led me nowhere. All those years I watched my brothers drifting farther from the truth, and when I finally turned back around, it was gone for me as well. I thought that I could find somewhere that people aged in grace and music, but there was no place for contemplation in the mass fast food mentality. At first they treated me kindly, foster parents to a slightly wayward child. Later came the mockery and malice, and finally their hatred and my shame. I merely sought a life with dignity, balance, and respect, as in certain books, but found jealousy and greed, ignorance and false pride far easier to obtain. At last, convinced by dint of repetition, I see the error of my ways. So now I struggle with the meaning of the emptiness that grows steadily with inside me. Finally won over, I glance about from within my spiritual tin roof and cardboard walls. God of perfect mercy, why have you let me see just enough to make me ill? Sobbing quietly in the dust, enfolded at last by the herd I had somehow lost, my eyes closed now in warm acceptance as we blindly mill towards that beckoning abyss. There was a light that I followed, a chord within the breeze, a pleasing harmony. Now all that is cast aside as we swarm the promise of universal mediocrity. I threw off old preconceptions. I groped and finally grasped the new reality. I embraced the media waves breaking over me with quiet tears of gratitude. I grasped at straws and came up short, accepted the true faith very late. Now I live with the gnawing guilt of having doubted for far too long, striving always to find that place where the life I sought might await, pushed back on the freeway so many times that I began to like it there. In the end, sweet surrender to that mindless groping for immersion and consumption, sadly too late for total binding within the fold of terminal channel surfing. surfing. From a ridge long ago, I saw a town in the sunlight of a forest clearing. I sought a small place amid its green gables, near its one steeple. But I am no better than my hurting brothers, just a bit unsettled and for my dreams. I sought no place of honor, fame, or fortune, but merely wandered off a bit. Now I find my absence has left me behind with the limping stragglers, scorned and shunned by the healthy and an easy mark for any hungry predator.